Let's take a look at the anatomy of an Apigee Edge API proxy. Apigee Edge provides a very powerful management interface all in the browser. This helps architects and developers to design, develop, deploy, and manage the complete lifecycle of an API proxy. API proxy at the heart consists of the proxy definition itself, which is the API facade information that Apigee exposes to the external world. Two, the various target services which Apigee would be talking to on the southbound. Three, the policies itself which provide functionality to an API proxy. There are 30 odd policies which developers can leverage to quickly add functionality. But there would be cases where they would need to extend and instead of having to rely on Apigee, Apigee provides extension capabilities which can manifest in the form of Java, JavaScript, Node.js, Python, or XSLs for developers to add functionality to an API proxy. If you really want to take a more deeper look at what an API proxy really consists of, head down to project and download the revision to get a compressed zip file. Once you expand, this is what the core structure of an API proxy would look like. The bare minimum for an API proxy would be the proxy folder itself, which has the proxy information. Depending on the other stuff defined, you would have the policies and the target information itself. As you can see, all are XML-based configuration at the end of the day, which means you can use any offline editor or editor of your own choice to configure each of them and put them back. Where it also makes sense is for people to create skeletons, frameworks, or base packages that they can share with other co-developers. To take a more deeper look at the resource folder, as you can see, based on the extension, extension that they're using, it could be either Java, JavaScript, Node, Python, or XSL. Each has its own defined folder under which all of them would go into. Java code has to be zipped up as a jar file before adding it into the Apigee itself. To summarize, this is what a sample API proxy structure would look like. All the configuration items of Apigee are an XML-based configuration file. Resources provide the necessary extension for developers and architects to bring in functionality they already have or skill set they're already comfortable with to extend the functionality of Apigee. If you need any help, please reach out to us on community.apigee.com. Thank you.